I think that uh, the presentation is longer than my speech. <laughs> in case I try to say something uh, that comes to my mind in this uh, rather confused time. And then uh, I will speak uh, very spontaneously and uh, in a simple way. And I begin saying that this morning I have given a news, I have published a communique that is uh, a little historical in the history of Vatican Radio because I have published that uh, beginning from the 1st of July, Vatican Radio will finish the broadcasting to the waves in AM, it is short wave and uh, medium wave for Europe and Americas. Uh, the history of Vatican Radio in uh, uh, 80 years of uh, uh, its life is uh, um, fundamentally a, a, the life of an um, international broadcaster that has reached every point of, view of the world through the medium, to, to medium and in particular to the short waves in difficult times during the war, during the, the totalitarianism and so on and uh, a, a, a very huge amount of people in the many lands that were oppressed were very grateful to the service of Vatican Radio as a service of um, uh, contribution for, to strengthening the, the faiths, to encourage uh, the hope of, of the freedom and so on. And then uh, the, the fact that we renounce now, now to the use of the uh, medium and particularly the short wave for a large part of the world, it is really a big news in our history and I think in the history of our work. Uh, but <coughs> the, the, the news is not uh, a bad news in the sense that we can say we renounce to use this instrument because in the last 20, 15, 10 years we have developed many alternatives to cover these regions of the world also more effectively. And then now we have practically thousand local or regional radios not only Catholic, but also from other confessions or, or uh, secular radios that rebroadcast our <coughs> programs in the different languages for the region. And uh, then we have now many more uh, listeners <coughs> than in the past because through the uh, local radios in FM, a lot of people can receive our service and our message. And through the web, <coughs> we have now the, uh, the chance uh, to, uh, to, to give to the people not only the broadcasting live in the same moment in which it is broadcast, but also on demand, also in podcast, and uh, in many different uh, ways, uh, audio clips, written text, and so on. We have now developed a website with uh, 40 languages in 13 or 14 different alphabets because we have in Malayalam, Chinese, Japanese, Hebrew, and so on. All the different, many different ways of writing are present in our website. And this is something that is very useful, I think, for the, the same service, the same mission that we had 80 years ago, that is to serve the diffusion of the, of the gospel, of the word of God, and uh, of the uh, service of the, of, the, of the Pope, of the Catholic Church, the teaching of the Catholic Church in the, uh, in the world of today, as uh, also a service for the mankind in general, and with the Second Vatican Council we uh, have received a uh, big profound inspiration for the dialogue with the world of today, for the ecumenism, for the interreligious dialogue and so on, that are all dimensional, essential dimensions of our work. And uh, in this sense, we announce today that we are changing 
the te a technology that had a, a, a very important history in our, in our service, but we can change it because we have already uh, learned to use and to diffuse the same message through other technologies. And uh, we continue to use the short waves for Africa, for Middle East, for uh, uh, several Asian uh, lands, because in these regions we don't have the same possibility to be rebroadcasted or to, to be listened to the, to the internet and so on. And that in this sense, for our mission, it is always very important, it has been and it is also today very important, to see what is the appropriate technology to serve the people, because we can think that to serve the, the North American people, uh, the internet is now very useful, or, or the serious uh, satellite uh, radio broadcasting. Uh, but for the people in the center of Africa, this is not the case, and then we have to serve them. In particular, for me, uh, I think always to the people of uh, Ethiopia or Eritrea that are very poor, that they don't have any access to internet or to satellites and so on, and then we have to defend the strong uh, will also the, the, the broadcasting in short way for this direction of the world because this is our mission, to serve them. I remember very well uh, 20 years ago as a, a, a bishop uh, uh, came to me, he was the successor of the last <coughs> Catholic bishop of Mogadishu that was uh, killed on the door of the cathedral and uh, the <coughs> successor could not be in, uh, in Somaliland, but he had to be in Kenya, but to serve the people uh, there. And he came to me here and said, can you send something in Somali to, to, to uh, the short waves? Uh, because there are some people, <laughs> not thousands, because the, the, the Catholic or the Christian in this land are very, very few, but there are some that desire. Then I said, yes, you have to give me some recording, some program, to be, and we will broadcast. And uh, now there are 22 years we are doing this regularly, thinking to these, uh, how many, hundred, thousand, I don't know. But there are some listeners, my problem is not a big audience, is a real service for people that are awaiting uh, important service for us, like also the broadcasting of the, the liturgical service uh, for the uh, hundred thousand of Filipino and other Catholic workers in Saudi Arabia that have no possibility to, to, to have some, some contribution. That the short way for them is very important and it is something that we have to do and uh, it is uh, a, a sign of spiritual presence and service for them. These are fundamental dimension of the history and tradition of the mission of, of uh, Vatican Radio. And, uh, but now, obviously, we have also to, to, to try to be present in, with other, with other forms of presence and then the different platform, the, the different apps, the, the, the players and so on, to, to reach the young people where they are and how they communicate and how they are ready to, to, to find out the signs of, of the spiritual life in the, in the network. It is also our mission today. Um, well, then uh, I say, uh, we, we have always the same mission that is just to serve the Word of God, the, the, and for us, obviously, the Word of God also in the, uh, in the church and the, in the, uh, through the witnesses and so on. And, uh, but if we are really passionate and dedicated to this, to this mission, we continue every day to try to find the, the, the best way to reach to the people with this this wonderful, positive, good news that we have to say. 
Uh, <coughs> This is uh, on, the, on the side of, of Vatican Radio. Uh, the, uh, Monsignor Matteo asked me to say something also about the service in the press office uh, of, the, of the Holy See. And then, I, I, what can I say for you? Uh, not particular uh, experiences, but the experience, my experience today in the last years is really how to communicate also the message of what the, the, the church, the institutional the church, the Catholic Church has to say, the Pope has to say to the men of, of today, in this very changing uh, milieu of the of the communication today. I think my work is really, I think, very very different for the work of my predecessor. Only in, in five or six years is totally different, I think. Because, why? Because the Pope is different, because the other people are different, <laughs> and I am different. But uh, also because the communication has changed very much, changed very much. Many have criticized me, as you know, many times during communication emergencies in the past years, or oh, Williamson case, or the Regensburg speech, or uh, Pius' brother and, and so on, many big occasions say, yeah, the problem is a problem of communication. In part it is true, I think many can do better than I do, but uh, uh, the question is also that the, the way in which the communication functions is totally different. That is, now an emergency comes in a few minutes, in, the, in, in six hours, the world is already, already totally full of, of a, a, a wave of news, totally. And I have not the time to think about it, to think, yes, what will I say more to, uh, tomorrow? No, because uh, tomorrow all, all is already done. <laughs> and then uh, the, the problem of the rapidity of the, of the communication today and the pervasivity of the, of the network and the, uh, yes, the, the growing of, of waves of crisis in the communication is something that is a, a new phenomenon. It is not only for the church, it is for, for all, uh, for the politics, for the economy and so on. It is, in this sense, is a way in which we participate to the problem in the world of today. And this is, uh, I, I have all to say that. It's true, this is a problem for the church, but it's not a problem only for the church or for me. This is a problem of the, 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 the men that are um, today in the, in, the, in the communication. And then to learn how to be present, and this is a, is a master in this, in this field, <laughs> how to be present in the, in the, uh, the daily uh, going on of the flow of the, of the communication to the network and uh, how to monitor this. This was for me one of the first lessons of, in, my, in my suffering in this, in this, uh, in this job. In this, how can we understand better what is happening, what is coming, uh, what are the crisis news that are preparing itself and so on. And this is something that is not easy to learn and to, to systematize. And, uh, and I need the collaborators, I need the clever people that are uh, able and interested in being present in the network, in understanding uh, with the research of uh, keywords and so on. I don't know. I, I receive the help. I have not to, I cannot to do uh, myself all, all, the, all this work. And then in the sense to organize and to be able to, to have the help of people. To, this, is a, a, this is for me very important. It's a humanitarian work, the communication in the church, uh, for the church and for the, the, the religious values. Uh, a, a single person cannot do a uh, good, good job. I think we need one another. And then if someone is able to do a very good monitoring and get to help me. I am very grateful and then it changed my life. And then every morning I can understand what are the, the most dangerous or most positive news that are coming and how can I react in, the, in, a, positive, in a positive way. 
Then, uh, I think another message that you like to give is uh, uh, a certain confidence. We have to be prudent because uh, uh, there are also many traps uh, in the, uh, on the way. Uh, if you if you use the first word, you are dead uh, sometimes. But in the, the sense, you have to be very very uh, prudent in, in choosing uh, you are you are way to express yourself and so on. But in any case, you are in dialogue with the world of today, and the journalists are not better and not uh, not worse than the the. the <laughs> the normal people in, in the world. And there are very good, there are very bad, but in any case, there are normal people. And then <coughs> um, we have to be in dialogue with them and uh, to try to help them to understand uh, in a positive way. Sometimes you have prejudice, you have to, to fight against prejudice, it's very difficult to change. But sometimes you have very honest people that uh, desire to understand what happens and ask you what is the significance of this or not, and then, or not. And then uh, you have to go with a certain confidence toward the people and say, yes, I, I hope that we, can, uh, that we can, uh, can work together and understand better and serve the people through the communication in a positive, uh, in a positive way. And uh, the, always, I think, there are, there are signs of hope. There are important uh, um, questions in the profound, uh, in the deep of, of everyone. And um, we have to, to help these, these uh, positive and profound aspects to come uh, out and to, to find a way to express themselves. And then I come to the third uh, aspect of my, of my experience that was in the, in the Vatican Television Center. Uh, I remember very well uh, an occasion after the 11 September, September 11th uh, uh, tragedy, yes. and there was a day of uh, um, uh, prayer and, and silence, and uh, also in Europe, uh, all the people said, yes, at noon, we will do one minute silence and we will pray. And then there was many silence, the world, the world was, was out and so on, everywhere. And then the, the television agencies uh, came to me at the television center and said, what image will you give me? I said, yeah, what image? I mean, silence. <laughs> it's not easy to, to find the thing. Yeah. But they desired to see the Pope praying in this moment. And I had not thought to, uh, about this, but this was very, very important. The people and the, 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 the people of the television agency that are not pious people that are always uh, on the prayer in, in the church, they asked me to give them, for the people of the entire world, image of the Pope praying in this moment, because there was a profound need everywhere to pray, to reflect uh, after this, uh, this tragedy. And then I remember I called the secretary of John Paul II in Castel Gandolfo, I said, can we, uh, can we have some, some image of the Pope? He said immediately, yes, and then we went, and in, in a few minutes after, after 12, I saw everywhere in the television agencies, in the news and bulletin and so on, there was the image of the Pope praying. Not only the Pope was praying, but also the other. But this was for us a service to say, yes, our great spiritual leader is praying in this occasion, participating in the, in the profound experience of, of the entire world. And this, this was for me very, very important. I said, Yes, you see, my my colleagues that are not uh, that are not Catholic, are not Christian, are lay people. They understand that there is an, an expectation, that is a, a request of signs of spirituality in important moments. 
and also the fact that so the, the mankind was so interested in the big occasion like the funeral of Mother Teresa and of John Paul, John Paul II, the world, uh, world media uh, events, was for me a sign of hope. In the sense, yes, if something is really important, if a, a witness that was significant for the, for the people everywhere uh, dies or so, the people reflect this and also the communication world is a way of this and tries to serve the communication of these spiritual important moments. Then we have many difficult times and many bad views and so on, but there are also some very important positive news, good news, Exp uh, profound experience of, of spirituality and of, of community uh, uh, experience, spiritual uh, uh, <coughs> uh, participation that are so important that, that we can serve through the communication. Well, thank you. No, absolutely. Yeah.